Alfalfa is a leguminous plant which is grown and prized the world over. It is known as the queen of forage plants and was introduced to Spain in the 8th century during the Arabic conquest. Its cultivation takes place mainly along the Ebro Valley, several areas of Castile and Leon and Andalusia. Es un cultivo que tiene grandes ventajas, entre ellas que se mantiene 5 años en el campo, eh, evita la erosión o la disminuye enormemente. También es un cultivo que sintetiza el nitrógeno atmosférico, por lo tanto, en principio no hay que aportar, incluso lo puede dejar para el cultivo siguiente. Es, es un lugar que se cobijan, eh, hemos, hemos hecho un estudio, 117 especies de aves, eh, que bien o anidan, nos alimentan, no se, no se cobijan allí. It is an irrigated crop with a five-year lifespan and does not need the addition of nitrate. Alfalfa is perfectly adapted to the characteristics of the Spanish soil and climate, which has made Spain the leading producer in Europe and the second largest exporter worldwide. Harvesting takes place from April to November, five or six cuttings, and this is accomplished using forage harvesters, which then carry the harvest to the processing companies. At this point, a productive and highly beneficial process for the alfalfa plant begins. Dehydration. Hoy día es un cultivo en España especialmente revalorizado a través de la industria deshidratadora, donde se le va a dar un valor añadido capaz de hacer un producto homogéneo, eh, de gran peso específico, estable y que garantiza la seguridad la seguridad alimentaria y que nos ha permitido en estos pocos años últimos ser el segundo país exportador a nivel mundial. First, the harvest of alfalfa is analyzed and classified before being subjected to the dehydration process. Dehydration begins with the loading of chopped alfalfa onto a belt conveyor, which feeds into a trommel. When it reaches the dryer, the alfalfa is subjected to a slow tumbling with a flow of hot air of around 250 degrees Celsius, generated by a burner and a combustion furnace. Within a few minutes, the raw material loses part of its contained water, leaving a moisture content of between 12 and 14%. Once dried, the alfalfa passes to the cooler where the product is subjected to a lower temperature. Finally, the process ends in the press, where the dehydrated alfalfa is made into high-density bales, or it can be milled and granulated to manufacture pellets. ¿Qué conseguimos con con la deshidratación de la alfalfa? Pues principalmente diferenciarnos con otro tipo de producto que no se ha deshidratado y tenemos una alfalfa con balas de compresión muy alta que, que conseguimos un menor coste de transporte y un menor coste de almacenamiento. Por otro lado, tenemos un producto que es muy homogéneo y muy estable. Es tan estable que puede estar el producto un año o dos almacenado sin que le pase absolutamente nada. Dehydrated alfalfa is intended for livestock consumption and the production of bales and granules or pellets allow it to be used with all types of livestock. The bale format is targeted to dairy cattle, while the pellets are more suitable for cattle used in meat production or for maintenance rations. In recent decades, dehydrated alfalfa has become highly valued by farmers, becoming almost an essential part of the diet of ruminants, especially cattle, sheep and milk producing goats. Después de 40 años como ganadero y 20 como consumidor de alfalfa deshidratada, puedo decir que es un elemento importante para la mezcla en el consumo de la comida de las vacas, puesto que aporta eh, proteína, fibra, calcio y encima eh, facilita mucho la rumia de los animales, eh, lo cual se traduce en, en la cantidad de leche producida por vaca. To complete the process, it has been necessary to have the support of an organization which looks after the needs of all its members related to the world of alfalfa dehydration throughout the country. The National Association of Dehydrated Alfalfa Manufacturers, AEFA, was founded in 1984. It is currently 
the only organisation in Spain that represents and defends the interests of this industrial sector. La labor principal de la asociación es la promoción del sector y valorización de este, pero especialmente de sus productos, ya que son productos bastante exclusivos al combinar lo que es la bondad del clima en España con la existencia de una potente industria deshidratadora. AEFA represents the Spanish dehydration industry at European industry forums, providing answers, solutions and market alternatives to its more than 60 partners.